Hello everyone, my name is Toh Chong and welcome back to another reaction video. So today I'm going to uh, watch some videos from uh, Simple History. So I haven't watched uh, Simple History for a long time, for a very long time already. So uh, Simple History was, was a channel that um, talked about uh, history stuff um like world wars and cold war and all those stuff and i really um enjoy watching this channel so um today's uh video i'm going to watch is called fall of hong kong 1941 so um so for hong kong is um is also known as the battle of hong kong um happened in um in 1941 during uh the second world war so um so hong kong also is part of a battlefield um during second world war um so um so for me is that for me um as a hong Konger um that i would like to um uh, know more about the history of my of my hometown so yeah so um Without further ado, let's watch it. Fall of Hong Kong, 8th to the 25th of December, 1941, World War II. Hong Kong had been established as a British crown colony since 1842 after the First Opium War. It consisted of Kowloon on the mainland and Hong Kong Island. This colony in the south coast of China was densely populated by a majority Chinese population and was a symbol of British power in the Far East. Initially, Winston Churchill regarded the territory as an outpost and would not reinforce it against impending attack and reduce the British garrison there to fight the ongoing war in Europe. From September 1941, he reversed this decision and increased the manpower of the garrison with Commonwealth troops as a military deterrent against the Japanese forces. The 12,000-man garrison, commanded by Major General Christopher Maltby, consisted of the British Army and Commonwealth forces in the form of the Canadian and Indian Armies and the Hong Kong Voluntary Defence Corps. A single destroyer and several motor torpedo boats also provided support from the sea. Three battalions of British and Indian troops were deployed by Maltby along a defensive line north of Kowloon on the leased territories of the Chinese mainland. They were the 2nd Battalion, Royal Scots in the west, the 2nd Battalion, 14th Punjab Regiment in the center, and the 5th Battalion, 7th Rajput Regiment in the east. Set up in pillboxes and trenches, stretching for 18 kilometers, they would defend the Gin Drinkers Line, which was believed to be able to hold against the Japanese for several months. While two inexperienced Canadian battalions, the Royal Rifles of Canada and the Winnipeg Grenadiers, as well as the British 1st Battalion, Middlesex Regiment, were deployed on Hong Kong Island to the south, defending its beaches. The Japanese forces, led by Lieutenant General Takashi Sakai, had around 52,000 men of the 38th Division of the Japanese 23rd Army at its disposal, therefore outnumbering the British and Commonwealth forces four to one. Hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Japanese launched their attack on Hong Kong from the air destroying several British aircraft at Kai Tak Airport. The Japanese 38th Infantry Division crossed the Sham Trun River into the leased territories on the mainland. The three battalions defended the Gin Drinkers Line, but it was breached at the high ground of Shing Mun Redoubt by the Japanese during the night of the 9th of December. Wow. D Company of the Winnipeg Grenadiers was sent to reinforce the mainland defense, but the line could not be held. And by the 11th of December, Maltby started to evacuate the British and Commonwealth troops to Hong Kong Island, with the 5th Rajput Battalion as the rear guard. The Japanese had demanded surrender of the British and Commonwealth defenders, but both requests were rejected. Maltby organized the defending forces into a West Brigade, mainly composed of the brigades that had evacuated and the Winnipeg Grenadiers from the mainland. East Brigade composed of the Royal Rifles of Canada and two companies of the Rajput Regiment. The British 1st Battalion, Middlesex Regiment and Hong Kong Defence Corps supplemented both brigades. 
On the 18th of December, the Japanese landed its forces between North Point and Aldrich Bay. At North Point, the defending Rajput battalion was virtually wiped out, resisting the Japanese to the end. The East Brigade moved to the Stanley Peninsula in preparation to counterattack, but was without artillery pieces during its withdrawal. The next day, the Japanese army attacked the Wang Nai Chung Gap on the western side, destroying the HQ of West Brigade, resulting in the death of its commander, Brigadier John Kelburn Lawson. Wow. The British could not successfully recapture the Wang Nai Chung Gap, therefore the Japanese army had driven a wedge between the defenders, splitting the defense in two between the West Brigade and East Brigade, defending the Stanley Peninsula. When the Japanese also captured the reservoir, the British forces fresh water supply would grow desperate, along with the already dwindling ammunition supplies. On the 25th, Christmas Day, the field hospital at St. Stephen's College was captured by the Japanese forces. Despite surrendering, many of the British and Commonwealth soldiers and medical staff were tortured and killed by the Japanese soldiers. Later in the day, it was clear any further resistance would be futile. After requesting a ceasefire, Maltby surrendered and the governor of Hong Kong turned the colony to Lieutenant General Takashi Sakai. This day would become known as Black Christmas. Most of the garrison did not escape and became prisoners of war. The attack was in violation of international law as Japan had not declared war against the British Empire. The British and Commonwealth defenders numbered around 4,400 casualties, while the Japanese casualties numbered around 2,700. Okay guys, so um, that's the end of this video. So uh, I want to say that um, this video is really um, kind of like uh, special to me because um, because that um, simple history would make a video um, talk about um, my hometown because um, I'll, I'm I'm from Hong Kong so yeah and spe and also especially talk about um, Hong Kong during the Second World War and and also that well and I know about like um, the during the Battle of Hong Kong like um, Hong Kong not only have um British soldiers um defending it they also have like um Hong Kongers uh joined the British army and um and there's Indian troops there and also Canada and um yeah I also know about that that Canada had has sent um troops to Hong Kong to defend so um and and another thing that I didn't know about is that um that where the where it talk about um the Japanese uh captured um uh like Saint Stephen College and kill all the medical staff and the injured um Commonwealth soldiers and I didn't know about this part so yeah all I know that is um that. Um, all I know that is that um, when Japan invade Hong Kong, it was like a few hours after the attack of Pearl Harbor because like it's different like the like like some people like you may think about it's kind of like weird complicated so like this like um, that the attack on Pearl Harbor was happening in September 7, 1941 right so so Hong Kong when Japan when the Battle of Hong Kong was start at September 8th. So the easy way I can explain this is the time zone is different. So yeah. <laughs> um alright guys, so um that's the end of this video. Um I hope you guys enjoy and also I wanna say uh, also one last thing I wanna say that I really um wanna say thank you for um simple history to make this video to talk about um Hong Kong because I'm from Hong Kong and Hong Kong is my hometown so I would thank you for Simple History to make this video to talk about uh, my hometown. Alright guys so I'm going to end the video so I hope you guys enjoy it if you did please leave a like and share friends also if you guys want to see more please subscribe my channel click the bell button so you know where I have news videos to come out so um so next time I may um check out more videos from Simple History because I haven't seen um Simple History for a long time already, so I want to like 
like um check out the videos from his from super histories that I haven't watched it yet. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye guys.